Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and today I'm going to teach you all about angles. So here's the definition of an angle. Angle is just two lines that meet at a common point like this. So this is an angle. And angles are everywhere. Uh, they're where your uh, lower arm and your upper arm meet and they could flex and make different angles. Uh, they're in books, they're in your laptop computer. When you open up the screen, that makes an angle, makes different size angles, um, and they're everywhere. Uh, when you talk, where your jaw and where your uh, jaw and skull meets, they make angles every time uh, you talk. Uh, so that's what an angle is, just two lines that meet at a common point, like this. Uh, and so angles are measured in not inches, uh, not in feet, not in miles, but in degrees. And what does that even mean? Well, an angle in, measured in degrees is how much one line is rotated away from another line. So uh, the more that one line is rotating away uh, from that other line, uh, the higher amount of degrees that measurement is. So that's all an angle is, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to teach you about the six different types of angles uh, based on their measurements. All right, so here are examples of the six different types of angles in geometry. Uh, so uh, you notice some of them are a little wider than others, and some of them aren't so wide. So I suggest pressing pause and drawing these in your notebooks and then unpausing and then following along. So this first angle where this line isn't so far away, it hasn't rotated so far away from the other line, is called an acute angle. And here's a symbol for angle if you don't want to write angle. Um, oh look, it's so cute, it's so small, it's not so far away from its friend, the other line. So oh, they want to stay close to each other. It's so cute. Uh, and the measurements for acute angles are in between, well it has to be greater than zero degrees but less than 90 degrees. So in between zero and 90, but not equal. So if you notice, it's just less than, not less than or equal to. Uh, so uh, in between zero and 90, but not 90 and not zero degrees. Okay, here's this one. Uh, and most of us are familiar with these kinds of angles, the corners in our rooms, for most of our rooms, unless you have um, a unique looking room. Uh, the, this is called a right angle and look they pay attention to this right here this is the symbol right here for 90 degrees or for a right angle or or if you want to get fancy these lines are perpendicular because they make 90 degree angles when you see this little square right here if that square isn't there uh it might be 89 degrees or it might be 91 degrees or 89.99 so make sure you have that little square there saying it really is 90 degrees so this angle is exactly 90 degrees all right this next angle right here it opens up much wider than the acute angle much wider than the right angle uh, so think about if you're if you opened up your mouth this much to stuff food in your mouth and you just kept stuffing your mouth you might get a little obese okay if 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 you just ate so much food and you didn't exercise after so let's let's uh, make sure that we do both we eat and we exercise eat healthy and exercise oh, or else you get a little obese so this angle isn't called the obese angle it's called the obtuse angle and that word right there just sounds a little large so obtuse that means that this line rotates much further away than 90 degrees uh, so this is an obtuse angle so an obtuse angle is more than 90 but less than 180 degrees so in between 90 degrees and 180 degrees but not equal to either, either of these numbers so it could be 90.1 or 179.99999 with a bar over it okay but not equal so we just put less than and less than right there so in between these two numbers but not equal to these numbers all right so our fourth type of angle 
is this angle right here. It looks like just one line, but you notice there's two arrows right there. So that means that two lines rotated so far that they combined to make one singular line. And that one angle is called the straight angle. And a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. So uh, it's like if you, if I asked you, hey, turn 180 degrees, you'd start from facing this way and you would face the total opposite way. 180 degrees, a straight angle. Now this one right here, uh, this is this is an angle that goes way further. It rotates way further than 180 degrees. This is called a reflex angle. A reflex angle, it's greater than 180 degrees, but less than. 360 degrees so it's in between 180 and less than 360 uh, but not equal to these numbers so it could be 180.1 100 point 180.00001 or it could be 359.99999 with the bar uh, so that's a reflex angle and then this one right here it's when you have two lines and they just keep rotating and rotating and rotating until that line missed the first line so much it met it up again to the original line and so what is that all the way around around a circle uh, so this is called a circular or some people like to call it complete angle so an angle that goes completely around a circle uh, is 360 degrees so those are the six types of angles take your highlighters and highlight all six of these names acute right obtuse straight reflex and circular or in some circles they like to call circular angles complete all right so those are the six types of angles and there are their measurements make sure you know if someone gave you a number like 91 you would automatically uh guess oh that's or no not guess but no that's an obtuse angle if someone said five degrees that's an acute angle or 190 Hmm. Reflex. 180, straight. 360, circular. 90, right. But if someone said 90.1, then that would be obtuse. So let's get some practice. So classify each of these numbers right here. So press pause and then right next to those numbers, uh, write what type of angles they are. Acute, right, obtuse, straight, reflex, or circular. So press pause. And once you're done, unpause. Unpause! Okay, so let's go over this. 90, we know that's right. 180 degrees. Oh, these should have degree symbols on there. So don't forget your degree symbol because someone might mess with you and say 90 inches. What? 180 degrees straight. Oh, I spelled that wrong. A I G H T. Straight angle. Um, 91, that's more than a right, so that's obtuse. 89, less than a right, which would be acute. Oh, that's such a cute angle. One degree, uh, it's still less than 90, so that's an acute angle. 179, that is less than a straight, 100, less than 180 degrees, so that would be obtuse. Okay, oh, that's more than 180 degrees, so that would be a reflex angle. 360 is that circular angle. Circular. If you don't know how to spell, just look at these, the words right here. Uh, 350 degrees, that's less than a circle, uh, so that would be a reflex. Uh oh, look at this, a decimal 
89.999. That's not quite 90. Close, but not quite. So that would be a cute angle. So there you go. Those are the six different types of angles. Let me just check that I got these right. Right, straight, obtuse, cute, acute, obtuse, reflex, circular, reflex, and acute. All right, that's it. Those are the six different types of angles. Make sure that you um, you know these by heart. In your heart, you know these. If someone said a number five, acute, 90, right. 170, obtuse, 180, straight. 181, reflex, 360, circular or complete. Uh, that you can do it that fast. So that's it. Have a great day. Those are the six types of angles.